In our night sky, one of the most fascinating and studied stars is Betelgeuse, a red giant star located in the constellation Orion. If placed at the center of our solar system, Betelgeuse would extend out to the orbit of Jupiter, showcasing its immense size. This extraordinary star is not only remarkable for its size, but also for its instability. It is nearing the end of its life cycle and is expected to explode as a supernova. The Mystery of Betelgeuse's Dimming Recent observations have provided insights into the behavior of Betelgeuse, particularly a significant dimming event that captured the attention of astronomers worldwide. The Hubble Space Telescope, humanity's vigilant observer in space, played a critical role in unraveling the mystery behind this phenomenon. Hubble's detailed views indicated that the dimming of Betelgeuse was likely caused by a large amount of hot matter being expelled into space. This expelled material formed a dust cloud that partially obscured the star's surface, reducing the amount of light that reached Earth. Scientists theorized that the dust cloud was composed of extremely hot plasma that erupted from a large convection cell on the star's surface. As this material moved through the star's hot atmosphere and into the cooler outer layers, it cooled and formed dust grains, creating a dense cloud that blocked light from approximately a quarter of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet spectroscopic studies, initiated in January 2019, were instrumental in piecing together the events leading to Betelgeuse's dimming. These studies detected signs of dense hot matter traveling through the star's atmosphere. Ground-based telescopes also observed the dimming, particularly in December 2019, focusing on the star's southern hemisphere. Initially, the expelled material was brighter than Betelgeuse itself, but as it moved outward and cooled, it transformed into a dark cloud. The prevailing theory is that this outflowing matter and the resulting dark cloud were responsible for the star's sudden dimming, placing Betelgeuse at the center of astronomical scrutiny. The scale of the ejection. The magnitude of this explosion was astonishing. Betelgeuse ejected about 400 billion times the mass typically expelled during a normal coronal mass ejection, an event far exceeding anything previously observed in similar stars. The material ejected was estimated to weigh several times as much as the moon, marking a significant moment not just for Betelgeuse, but for our understanding of stellar processes as a whole. Such a massive explosion raises crucial questions regarding the nature of supernovae. Traditionally, it has been believed that red supergiants like Betelgeuse lose mass at a relatively steady rate before exploding at the end of their lives. However, the scale of this recent ejection challenges that assumption, suggesting a more turbulent and possibly unpredictable end-of-life phase for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be preparing for its grand finale, a supernova explosion in the coming thousands of years? New studies speculate that this event could happen sooner than previously thought, potentially within a few tens of years. The bow shock phenomenon. Another intriguing aspect of Betelgeuse's behavior is the concept of bow shock. As this massive star moves through space at approximately 67,000 kilometers per hour relative to the surrounding interstellar medium, it creates a bow shock similar to the wave generated by a ship's bow. This phenomenon occurs when the star's outer layers interact with the gas and dust in the space between stars, serving as a beautiful demonstration of the star's activity and its interactions with its environment. The bow shock not only provides insight into Betelgeuse's current state, but also enhances our understanding of stellar evolution and mass loss. Following the mass ejection, Betelgeuse's surface cooled and became less dense, indicating that the star remains unstable even years later. Hydrodynamic models have shown a connection between the star's convective activities, the mass ejection, and subsequent changes in pulsation modes. This ongoing instability raises questions about the internal processes driving these changes and their ultimate outcomes. Implications for Stellar Evolution Betelgeuse's mass loss rate is significantly higher than that of many other stars, hinting at a complex interplay of internal forces. The pulsations contributing to this mass loss are constrained by continuous energy loss through shock heating and mass ejection. Observations indicate that Betelgeuse's life cycle is dynamic and not entirely predictable, prompting scientists to rethink their models of stellar evolution. 
With all these significant changes, astronomers are increasingly curious about the possibility of Betelgeuse going supernova. While the exact timing of such an event remains uncertain, the recent unusual mass ejection has shifted discussions among scientists, leading some to believe that the end may be nearer than previously thought. Insights from nearby supernovae As researchers closely monitor Betelgeuse, another supernova, SN 2023-EXF, has garnered attention and provided valuable comparisons. This remarkable explosion occurred in Messier 101, also known as the Pinwheel Galaxy, which is only 21 million light years away. Discovered in May 2023 by amateur astronomer Kichi Itagaki using a small telescope, SN 2023-EXF quickly became a focal point for astronomical observation. After the announcement of its discovery, the global astronomy community mobilized, directing ground-based observatories and the Hubble Space Telescope to study this new supernova. The monitoring of SN 2023-EXF's light curve yielded critical information about the explosion and its surrounding environment. Within just five days, the supernova brightened significantly before beginning a more gradual decline, dimming by 0.03 magnitudes each day. Spectroscopic analysis revealed numerous bright emission lines, indicating intense interactions between the expanding shock wave of the supernova and the surrounding gas. What sets SN 2023-EXF apart is the dense shell of gas surrounding it, complicating the escape of the shock wave from the star's core. Two possible explanations for this dense material have emerged. Either a strong, steady wind blew material off the star before the explosion or random eruptions expelled material into space. In either case, the star is believed to have lost up to a solar mass of material in the last one to two years of its life, indicating that its final moments were anything but peaceful. The primary goal of current research is to identify the progenitor star of SN 2023-EXF. By studying the specifics of the explosion, including the characteristics of its progenitor star and the processes leading up to the final blast, astronomers can refine their models of stellar evolution and supernova mechanics. These new insights directly inform our understanding of Betelgeuse's current state and its potential supernova. When will Betelgeuse go supernova? As scientists continue to debate the timing of Betelgeuse's potential explosion, Researchers at Tohoku University suggest that the star may be in the carbon-burning phase of its life, a stage typically preceding its death. Lead researcher Hoki Seo believes that the star's core might collapse a few tens of years after exhausting its carbon supply. Conversely, scientists at Hungary's Konkali Observatory propose that Betelgeuse is still in an earlier helium-burning stage. While opinions differ, there is a consensus that Betelgeuse will likely be the next supernova in the Milky Way. However, this event might not occur for another 100,000 years. Historical Context of Supernova Observations Historically, observing supernovae has provided valuable insights into the life cycle of stars. The first recorded supernova was noted in 185 CE as a bright star that vanished from the sky after eight months. Since then, many significant supernovae have been documented, including SN 1054, which created the Crab Nebula and was visible during the day for 23 days. The most recent supernova observed in the Milky Way was SN 1604, studied in detail by Johannes Kepler. More recently, SN 1987A in the Large Magellanic Cloud was observed just hours after its light reached Earth marking the first supernova observed across all electromagnetic spectrum bands. These observations have been crucial for developing accurate models of supernova behavior and understanding their role in star formation. The impact of a Betelgeuse supernova on Earth. Imagine if the night sky erupted in a brilliant display of cosmic fireworks with Betelgeuse, one of the brightest stars in Orion, undergoing a supernova explosion. Such an event would have profound implications not just for our understanding of the universe, but also for how we perceive our own planet. A core collapse supernova, like the one Betelgeuse is expected to produce, is among the most powerful and destructive events in the universe. In just a matter of seconds, the explosion would release as much energy as our sun will produce over its entire lifespan. The visible spectacle would be extraordinary. 
the explosion could shine brighter than the moon and might even be visible during the day, captivating both astronomers and casual stargazers alike. Imagine looking up and seeing a second, much brighter sun illuminating the sky for weeks or months. However, while the visual impact of a Betelgeuse supernova would be awe-inspiring, the real significance lies in the scientific questions it raises. Supernovae serve as laboratories in space, offering a wealth of information about the fundamental workings of the universe. By observing a Betelgeuse supernova, scientists would have the opportunity to closely study the final stages of a massive star's life. When massive stars like Betelgeuse explode, they release heavy elements, including iron, that were formed within the star into space. This process enriches the interstellar medium with the building blocks for planets, stars, and life itself. By examining the spectroscopic signatures and the dispersal of these elements following a supernova, scientists can gain valuable insights into stellar evolution, element fusion, and the formation of new celestial bodies. In addition to visible light, a Betelgeuse supernova would produce an abundance of neutrinos, elusive subatomic particles that rarely interact with matter. These neutrinos provide a unique glimpse into the core collapse process of a dying star and offer insights into the fundamental forces and particles at work during such a cataclysmic explosion. Detecting and studying these neutrinos could lead to significant scientific breakthroughs, potentially unveiling new discoveries about the universe's most extreme conditions. Moreover, the discovery of a Betelgeuse supernova could reshape our understanding of the universe's expansion and the enigmatic force known as dark energy. In the late 1990s, scientists studying distant supernovae discovered that the universe's expansion is accelerating, contrary to previous expectations. Given Betelgeuse's relatively close proximity to Earth, its supernova would provide an excellent opportunity to gather data on the universe's expansion rate and the role of dark energy in driving it. Earth's safety from Betelgeuse Despite the potential for awe-inspiring observations, the distance between Earth and Betelgeuse ensures that our planet is not in danger. Betelgeuse lies approximately 725 light-years away from Earth, which translates to around 4,267 trillion miles. This vast distance offers a significant level of cosmic shielding making it highly unlikely that the explosion would have any direct harmful effects on Earth. In summary, Betelgeuse's eventual supernova is a topic of immense interest in the astronomical community. Its potential explosion not only promises a stunning visual spectacle, but also offers a rare opportunity to advance our understanding of stellar processes, supernova mechanics, and the fundamental nature of the universe itself.